Look, Lewis, you have been to many a football stadium in your life, in your career, in your many uh, jobs. Uh, yeah. First time Lil Wayne's come out with a team, Lewis? First time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I, haven't, I, haven't see, I haven't seen that before. Okay. Yeah. So that's new. It was new for me. New for me as yeah, well. It, you know, new for me as well. What was it? What's What's it like to be in a production conversation meeting with Deion Sanders, Lewis? What's it's that like? Actually, um, it's actually, it's – very informative it's look De- Dion's I'm, I'm i'm very comfortable talking to him obviously rich because i've been around him before as a teammate and someone who i've stayed in contact with and you you know how he is i mean he was out there at nfl network for all those years he's he, he very much so wants to be taken very serious about what he's trying to get done out there in colorado it's not there's there's no showmanship there's no primetime Dion when he's in a production meeting. He's all about business. He's all about trying to inform you about why he's involved in coaching, how he's trying to positively impact kids, how he's trying to affect change in Colorado and Boulder, what he's done to build up what really is a darn good staff that has a lot of football intelligence, football experience, football intellect on it what he has envisioned for the future as far as how he thinks he needs to improve this football team. And he was very open and honest about all that. And he also wanted to talk about, you know, how he's trying to affect the future of prospective black head coaches in college football and how that's, that's something that really means a lot to him. And he's hoping that the way in which he is now going about his business and how and the results that he's getting opens people's eyes up to maybe different ways of of perceiving people who don't necessarily fit into a certain box like and then that everyone should not be you know forced to kind of conform to certain ideals in terms of the how you express yourself and have that be something that really works against you as far as your overall competency and your ability to get the job done because Dion style as we all know is something we ain't never seen before and people are uncomfortable with that. A lot of people are uncomfortable with that. And he's hoping that people do get comfortable with it because in the end, there's two, there's kind of like two, there's two sides to him. There's the showman side, the marketing side, the guy who is just as charismatic and whose star burns as, as hot as the sun. And then there's the old school guy who holds these kids accountable in a very, very old school way that all of us are very accustomed to who grew up in our era and who played football at any level in our era. And I'm telling you, that is something that if you went and watched him conduct a meeting, watched him conduct practice and how he walks around that facility, you would see he is, does not play any BS around there and kids toe the line. And he is trying to coach them in that way and coach them in that way, both on and off the field. And that's very, very important for him to make sure that that message gets out there and that it is crystal clear. Because I, I think some people kind of look at him and look at how brash and how confident he is, and they get put off by that, and they automatically jump to the conclusion, well, he couldn't be a coach. He could never hold anybody you know, accountable. He could never you know, run a tight ship and keep people wrong, wrong, wrong. He can, and he is. You know, and, and, and he... I told him this when he was on the show Friday, Lewis, and and, and again, because I know him, it is mystifying to me. He's in his fourth decade or 40th year of being viewed um, as flashy and all about himself when that's a persona to basically market. And right. how and, and so the fact that people are still misconstruing him or um, looking at him as if he's unserious I, yeah. I, I can't, it, it just mystifies me. And you said that it makes people uncomfortable because aren't we looking for coaches in this day and age? When I say ask Andy Reid when he came on the program just before the beginning of the season, like how are you relating to this generation of player? You know, why Why? Why is that a legitimate question, which I think it is for Andy Reid and, and some people who might agree with that ascribe Dion a sense of unseriousness when he's clearly – completely in tune with this yeah. generation while as you point out as old school as ever what why do you think and i'll ask you this even though i kind of know the answer why do you think it makes people uncomfortable lewis because <laughs> because it does and because people it's it, that's not the way they expect or want it to quote unquote look like because that's not what they're used to 
Because quite honestly, Rich, long after we're gone and my kids are in my position and their kids' kids are in their position, there will be these biases that exist towards certain people who do things a certain way that will be ch passed down, meaning these biases from generation to generation. And I don't think it'll ever go away in, in its total in totality. Now, will it lessen maybe as the generations continue to advance and kids become much more open-minded to a way of doing things that maybe the people of our generation are not? And I see that in the generation after us. I mean, I, I have kids who are, who are, you know, past college age, who are about to be college age, who are about to be high school age, who look at things much differently, much differently, who are much more open-minded to, like they look at Dion and they go, yeah, I like that. Mm. I would love to play for someone like that. I'd love to be around something like that. And while at the same time, as I say to them too, and I say to anybody else who would be, considering whether or not to send their send their kid to be coached by him but don't get it twisted now it is not all fun and games and flash and dash and and, and jewelry and glasses and hoodies now <laughs> he will get in your rear end in a in a serious way in terms of holding you accountable which is i think it's it's exactly what you're looking for rich right you're looking for someone who understands hey be yourself have fun express yourself Market yourself. We're all in this world, whether it be you know when you get to college and beyond, we're all in this world to try and make a life for ourselves and make a life for ourselves as grandiose as possible, depending upon what your individual goals are. And Dion has talked about that extensively going all the way back to his days in college, why he even came up, came up with the whole moniker of prime time. And it was for a purpose. And he does not try to keep anyone from doing that. As a matter of fact, he encourages people to do that. But he also understands the value of doing it the right way, treating people the right way, towing the line the right way, understanding what hard work means and how it will keep you on the straight and narrow and keep you continually reaching for higher and higher goals. That you know that's and that's one of the reasons why like when we asked him and he said this before, why he said he he doesn't want to coach in the pros. Mm -hmm. He people go well. You you seem like a natural fit to want to coach in the NFL, the biggest thing. He's like, no, no, -uh. no, not at all. He goes, I, I, you think I really want to be bothered with someone who's making all this money but don't want to put in the work? You think I'm gonna put up with that? Me? <laughs> it was, and he said, no. I can affect these kids in a positive way because they actually want to listen. So and you so it, it's uh, yeah. His his way of going about it, it's not like everything else that you typically see amongst the most successful college coaches, both now and in the past. And they're just our old traditionalists for whatever. Well, we we know what some of the reasons are that will never accept his way of going about it, and some that will. And there are some eyes that are being opened, and people are going to be forced to reconsider, man. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.